This is a scooter board, not to be confused with the skateboard as it is not designed for standing on. Instead, the child lies on the scooter board on their stomach or sometimes may sit on their knees on the scooter board. From these positions, they then propel the scooter board using their arms. The child receives vestibular or movement input as they propel the scooter board across the floor. The movement input can be intensified if the child moves more quickly, or in some instances, occupational therapists will use ramps to increase the intensity of the movement on the scooter board. If you want to use the scooter board as a heavy work activity, you can use the scooter board on a surface that provides more friction, such as carpets. This means that the child has to work harder to propel the scooter board, and so that provides proprioceptive input and makes the activity more calming and regulating for the child. The scooter board can be incorporated into activities such as relay races and obstacle courses. The scooter board, as well as providing vestibular and proprioceptive input, can also improve core stability, upper limb strength and bilateral coordination.